Here are three Excel shortcuts you need to know about. So I have this Excel sheet right now. It has a bunch of Harry Potter names on it and a bunch of data with it. And you can see that the columns and the rows, they're either too narrow or too wide and it just looks terrible, but we're gonna fix that for you right now. So most people will come in here and they would drag it like this and go through each row and column and that would just take forever, but I got a shortcut. The first thing you have to do is click on a cell and then press Control A to select everything. And then you're gonna press Alt, H, O, and A. And it'll automatically auto fit your rows. And then to do that with the columns, we're gonna press Alt again, then H, O, and I. And it'll auto fit your columns for you. Look how much better that looks. All right, number two, we're still working with our Harry Potter data. And you can see I added first name and last name, and we have the full name on the left-hand side, but we gotta fill out these two columns. Now we could go through and type in each, each name or make some kind of formula that does it for us, but I got a much easier way. All right, for the first name, all we have to do is find the first name on the first row, it's Harry. So let's type that in. And then all you have to do is click on the cell below it and then come to your keyboard and hit Control and E. And it'll auto fill all of that. And then we just do the same thing for the last name. Type in the name, click on the cell, and hit Control and E. Magic. All right, number three, I have a blank sheet here. And let's say we wanna make a long column of sequential numbers. I have one and two right here. A lot of people would just go like this, highlight those two and drag it down. And that works pretty well if you're not going too far, but let's say you need to go to like 100,000. You're not gonna wanna have to drag all the way down. It's gonna take forever, so I got an easy tip for you. Instead, you can just highlight the first number and then hit Alt, H, F, I, and S. Now this will pop up. Let's set our stop value at 100,000 and hit Columns. And then when you hit OK, there you go. It goes all the way down to 100,000. You can also do it for dates, just watch. We have our date here, click on it, Alt H F I S. Click on columns, make sure day is selected and let's set our stop date at 12, 31, 2099. When you hit okay, there you go. It should go all the way down.